Good morning, students. I'm Robin, Assistant Professor of Pharmacology in ISF College of Pharmacy, Muga. Today, I'm here to help you study about digestive system using chart and model. A digestive system, it is classified into two parts, alimentary canal and accessory organs. Let us use a chart to discuss about each and every organ which is involved in the digestive system. Let us start about the digestive system using this chart. I, as I told you before, a digestive system it is divided into two parts. First is the alimentary canal, means a long continuous tube which starts from mouth and continues till rectum. Second, we have accessory organs which are not in direct, direct contact with food but they help in digestion. Let us study about each and every part one by one. First comes the mouth. In mouth we have tongue and continuous with mouth we have pharynx and pharynx then it's the common part we, and as we move downwards we have this food pipe which is known as esophagus and interior to it is windpipe windpipe has a protective lid like structure which is known as epiglottis epiglottis it has a protective function when one ingests food it closes thus it prevents the entry of food into the windpipe now let us move to the another next part of a digestive system continuous with the mouth there is pharynx and pharynx is followed by esophagus esophagus is a long tube like structure and food moves from the mouth through the esophagus via peristalsis then from esophagus the food enters stomach stomach it has digestive juice which is known as gastric juice and its secretion it has acid then continuous with stomach there is small intestine followed by small intestine there is large intestine small intestine it is divided into three parts the first part which is in contact with the stomach is duodenum where the most of the digestion takes place then is jejunum and then there's ileum ileum is joined by large intestine with the help of ileocecal wall our large intestine it's divided into following parts that is this is known as this ascending part of large intestine is known as ascending colon this part is known as transverse colon and this part is known as descending colon this sigmoid shaped part of intestine is known as sigmoid colon followed by sigmoid colon there is rectum now talk about the accessory organs there are mainly three main accessory organs apart from salivary glands too that is liver which produces bile and a gallbladder which stores bile and here in this space there is pancreas which secretes pancreatic juice overall our digestive system it is composed of four layers the innermost layer is mucosa followed by submucosa then muscularis 
and the outermost portion is known as cirrusa. But when we talk about esophagus, the outermost layer here is called as adventitia. So this was the overall view of digestive system.